Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a feminine orchid haul from Sorella Orchids. <laughs> so the first orchid that I got today, or from Sorella's in this haul, is a rather complex um, Vanda hybrid. So let me show you the tag for this one. So this is a cross of Ascacenda Blue Tahordin crossed with Neophanesia Palcata. And then that is crossed with Vanda Thailand and Vanda Perlata. I'm not sure of any of these names uh, except for the Falcata because I'm not a Vanda grower per se, although I do have about six. So uh, yeah, a lot of these are Fairly foreign to me, especially the Asco Sendas. I'm not usually into those because they're not fragrant, but this one has a special secret to it. So Sorella, uh, Sorella Orchids had about three or four of these. Um, and I chose this one because of course it has a bunch of roots, which is fabulous, but also it has these anthocyanin spots on the leaves. And that usually means that the flowers are going to be darker, although I don't think that was the case with this one. All the flowers kind of look the same, and in fact, I thought they might have been Maricloned. Both me and um, Nanita, the owner of Sorrel Orchids, thought this might be Maricloned, but it also might be one of those crosses where all of the seedlings generally look the same. So, let's go over to the main event right here. And look at these beautiful flowers. So these actually, for some reason, they remind me of a Mimi Palmer. Um, I don't know if you're getting that as well, but once I do some research into this, uh, this name, I'll figure out what exactly is going on in the ancestry of this, but the flowers are super pretty. As you can see, I have one opening right here and I have a bud as well right here that I hope will open. Um, so the flowers are, you know, they feel like silicone, you know, they're substantive. They're not super um, flimsy, like a Cattleya mossiae or something like that. Unfortunately, I have no flimsy, no film, uh, excuse me. Unfortunately, I have no flimsy flowered Vandas to compare this to because um, I don't have that many Vandas and they're all rather substantive like this one is. So this one has a very special quality in that it is fragrant. It's fragrant during the day and at night. So during the day, it smells... What does it smell like? Okay, it smells like grape candy. I want to say it smells like Smarties. Even though I don't like Smarties, I think the smell is pleasant. And if I'm comparing this to another orchid scent, I would definitely compare this to the Dendrobium Anosmum. Although the scent on this Vanda right here is not as sharp in your nose as the Anosmum can be. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't have an Anosmum is because Yes, it does smell like raspberry, but there's also, also this sharp, dusty scent that you get in your nose that I really don't like. And then uh, later in the night, early morning, it smells uh, a lot more like a Neophanesia falcata. So interesting plant all around and that is a very small size. It's got a lot of roots, looks like a mini Palmer for some reason to my brain, and it's just a pretty plant all around. So I'm currently growing this outside as most of my Vandas are. I think my, interestingly, my Falcata and Falcata crosses, um, or I guess Falcata crosses at this point because I don't have any Falcatas. Um, they're all inside, but my other Vandas, like my Vanda Brune uh, Brunea, my Vanda Rumril, I have some other ones out there. And they all just seem to do very well outside, so I'm gonna put this one outside as well and see how it does. So yeah, that's the first half of my haul, this Ascacenda, Ascacenda Blue Tarudine crossed with Neil Falcata, and then that cross is crossed with Vanda Thailand, cr 
Rasa Banda Perlata. So let's get the second feminine orchid that I have today. Okay, so this is definitely the star of the haul. I'm very excited to finally have one of these and it's a decent variety too. So this right here is Cattleya labiata Tipo crossed with sibling. So this is a Tipo variety and Tipo, um, I think it means type. Um, and it just means that it's a, a selected variety or a selected plant from the species and that it uh, has nice form, shape or whatever. It's just a generally stand out um, individual of a species. So this is also the first blooming, so don't give her too much about all of that's just happening over here. <laughs> you know, one's uh, up, one's leaning forward, one's leaning back right here, the top, the top sepals, but whatever, it's fine. Even if the flowers were ugly, I would keep it because the fragrance is intense. <laughs> I got this orchid yesterday um, and I put it down in my kitchen and then of course went to bed blah, blah blah I woke up came downstairs the first thing I smelled as soon as I walked into the kitchen and this um, on the other side of the kitchen from the entrance is I smelled this orchid so it smells see I can even smell it just behind the camera right here it smells very similar to a cat light mossy eye there's definitely a there's definitely cinnamon in there and I want to say jasmine as well um, I'm getting some sort of white floral fragrance um, and a little bit of humidity if <laughs> if that makes sense. It's definitely not a dry fragrance. So let's get into the flowers at least from what you can see here. So the lip is very pretty. I was looking at, uh, looking at different labiata um, images online, you know, just Google search and um, American Orchid Society Orchid Pro search. And this lip definitely seems to be one that is not common. Um, it's got the white, yellow, and purple segments, and a lot of them will have just purple um, and no white or yellow, or just purple and white, or different combinations of some of the two. Um, but usually you don't get all, all three on here. And this actually looks like a Cattleya Quadra color, I think. Um, but they're probably all related in that area. So yeah, maybe this one's a better show of what the flower is going to look like. But yeah, really great. I mean, it looks like there's even some streaking going on in here or some, um, some sort of peloria a little bit because there is some white in the lip. So this white streak could be an attempt at peloria because sometimes that does happen in Cattleya's. So yeah, let me show you the plant, because it's quite a large plant. Again, similar in size to a Cattleya mossiae. So yeah, that's a plant right there, and it's in a... I'm guessing this is a one quart, two quart pot. Um, I'm really not sure on the pot size. It looks to be about six inches tall, five inches wide, or excuse me, six inches wide, five inches tall, or around there. And here's my hand. So yeah, I mean, it's a decent sized Cattleya and these blooms are huge and fragrant. I love that my kitchen now smells like an orchid shop between my Phalaenopsis Kung's Red Cherry crossed with Bellina and this one, it smells amazing in my kitchen right now. <laughs> so let me get the other one and then we can close up this haul. So yeah, this is gonna be my feminine orchid haul from Sorella Orchids. I have a complex vanda over here, which I will put the name down in the description if you have not already heard it a million times by the end of this video. And then we have my Catlea Libiata Tipo, which I'm so excited to have finally. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.